uh, dear friends, we meet uh, Mr. Andrew Rosenbaum, and he is financial copywriter and analyst. He's American and Dutch at the same time, but he lives in Cyprus now. Uh, hello, Andrew. Uh, can um, you answer only one question for me? Um, you are an analyst, so you have this analytic mind. What do you think? What Cyprus needs to do to recover fast after this uh, coronavirus crisis? Now three weeks we are locked in the houses. Then uh, our economy will slowly, slowly move. What will happen? What's your forecast? What's your recommendation for this? Well, first of all, let me refer to the uh, International Monetary Fund report in most, the most recent one on Cyprus. Um, if you look at the numbers, you see that the contribution of labor to GDP is extremely low in Cyprus. Most of the GDP comes from financial services and a bit from exports. Um, what this means is that money isn't being made here by people working. And of course, anyone who lives here and goes to the airport and sees a long line of taxis uh, waiting for, 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 to get work um, knows that they're, they're there isn't enough of the, uh, of the knowledge economy happening here. Um, it's, it's something that affects all of the business, you know, because even at banks where you'd expect people to, uh, I do a lot of work with banks and you would expect people to, uh, to be kind of very up on the latest trends. You, uh, the last time I, I met a banker and I asked him what he thought about crowdfunding and he said he didn't even know what it was. There is no crowdfunding in Cyprus, in fact. There is, there is very little fintech. There is relatively little online e-commerce. Uh, if you look at the, um, the percentage of people who use e-commerce platforms, it's extremely low. And those who do use them, often they're, they're very undeveloped. I mean, you don't see a lot of AI powered you know, work, work going on here. Um, Cyprus needs to gear up. Uh, it needed this even before the crisis, but it's going to need to do it much more after the crisis now that traditional businesses will have suffered and a great many small ones will undoubtedly have had to close um can you describe it, practically what needs to be done what needs to be done practically is to organize uh projects in cutting edge areas in areas where there's a chance of joining globe the, the, the largest streams of global commerce uh, so in other words software developers have to get together and start creating some re remote work. Uh, Cyprus is very well positioned to do remote work for all the countries around it, but um, it doesn't happen because the people here don't have the platforms and don't have the skills. You have to attract some capital. It doesn't require a lot of capital, oddly enough, but it requires organization. Uh, people have to make the effort to make the change. Um, it, they have, Cyprus business has to connect up with other businesses around the world, with the trends in other businesses around the world. Um, it, um, uh, you know, it, uh, tourism is great, but you know, tourism is 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 flighty, and and you can't um, you can't depend on it for you know as as the main driving yes, force in your economy. Yes, and this will be the major change for Cyprus economy in the nearest months. So we cannot expect very fast recovery of the tourism industry. If you would say that you would suggest two three steps, practical steps to do. Let's name them. One, do this, this, and this. Two, do that, that, and that. Good questions. Um, first of all, uh, plan, uh, reorganize groups of skilled workers so that they can connect up with the global supply chains. Um, two, uh, get, attract, put enough investment into this kind of new business so that, uh, so that, it, that these kind of this, this kind of connection can take place. Three, um, start educate, you, you, we don't need to send everybody back to the university, but we do need to educate people in areas where, uh, where it's possible to do remote work, uh, where, where they, can, they can connect up with people in London and, and provide value-added services. That's the, that kind of instruction doesn't require university, that requires maybe a, a couple of courses, um, all that kind of educational training needs to be, needs to be put together. So it's more about service industry. Yes, people in Cyprus can transform themselves into providing services to other countries of the world, or in other words, uh, even providing services to themselves within the country, but remote services. Yes, that's right. They, they, people have to learn 
have to stop, you know, driving trucks around the country or taxis around the country, start, start sitting in, in, if necessary, in home offices, just like they are now, but then finding out what they need to do to make those home offices or add value and earn money. All right, thank you. For closing our conversation, a very short uh, interview that we have, what would you wish to business people who are in Cyprus now? They need to learn. They need to, they need to, um, to, to, to find out what's happening in the world around them. Um, the, um, they need to get online and you know, find, out what, find out about places like GitHub or uh, uh, you know, uh, the forums where they can you know, like link, get, start, start marketing themselves on LinkedIn and find out what they need in order to make that successful. All right. Thank you very much for your time and for this conversation. And I hope we will meet more to discuss other subjects as well. Thank you. That would be a pleasure.